What up, boys? I want to give a shout out to Constera to making this banger ass beat. What a good song. What a good memory. Phase one, season of discovery. As weird and shitty it was for shamans, well, it was still pretty good, but it, it, it's not like how it is now. Phase two for shamans right now is uh, is definitely awesome. It's definitely way better than uh, phase one. Um, on this uh, on this video, we're just gonna go over a couple lists that I set up. I had a couple shamans asking me, you know, so I was like, you know what, might as well just make a video if multiple people are asking. So I have here on 60 upgrades. I got two sets going on. This is a set that I believe anyone that, you know, you actually play the fucking game, you can get it yourself. With the assistance of, you know, this is not no more shit. You know, you could do BFD at level 40, you can you can get into any BFD. And you can freaking pump it, you can do whatever you want, tank it, one man tank it, one man heal it, whatever. So we have the tier helmet. It's really good, it has stamina. Stamina is king in this. Uh, phase of the game uh, We really need as much stamina and damage that we can get this neck is from graveyard If you have a pocket if you have like a pocket healer, you could definitely solo it or you know, just run graveyard until it drops This also from Scarlet Monastery, so you, you Scarlet Monastery is great for us You can get a lot of pieces there like the weapon too This cloak is from STV you can literally go out there and just solo, just shoot everybody you see, kill everybody you see, and you'll get this over time. This is from the auction house. Right now, I just saw it on my server is three gold. Amazing for three gold. This is War Song. So if, when you do your War Song, you're gonna get rings and bracers. So War Song is something that you want to get exalted with because this this slot right here is taken for the rest of the game once you get War Song. It's worth it. Look at the stats for level forty. Like you know the Scarlet Monastery dagger. The shield from STV was super simple to get. Looks cool. It's unfortunately, not as good as the shit from Nomer, but you know, I'll take it. Looks cool. Gloves, leather working, you can get on the auction house. There's not that many belts that give stats that are, aren't related to uh like Nomer. I already have um this one. I already have the Biss on my shaman. I got lucky on my first Nomer raid. But this is from BFD, so if, you know you're still doing BFD. There's always groups. You already know you can get helmet. So these pants off the auction house, they have a lot of damage, a lot of int. You're gonna be slapping people. And then these, this is like one of the top boots. <laughs> Look at this. That isn't from a raid. Or if you have tailoring, tailoring, I'll rock the tailoring. But if you don't, just a quest, get some friends and go to Tenaris and just kill the pirates. Super simple. Worse on trinket and the rank five trinket, or you know, unless you have the other one, you can get rank five slowly. For relic, just try to get the one from BFD till you get the one from Nomer. You know, it's all RNG based. I noticed uh, my character slapped the hardest once I got a hundred fire damage. That's where I wanted to get. Once you get a hundred fire damage, put the rest. Figure out a way to get the rest into stamina. Cause I noticed the 100 fire damage mark is when you start seeing the big numbers. Um, so that's that's what I've been having a lot of luck with. So on my character, this was in a BG, you know, BG, you get 20% bonus. And this is with black label. This is just a bunch of stuff, a black label and the food buff. So imagine running around in BG as an Ellie Shaman, 6,500 HP and basically globaling other players. Cause people only have like 2K HP. 2500 mbgs and like one lava bear so without an overload or literally get them over halfway dead so the best shit that i was able to see it's basically almost the same as this just a couple things changed here and there leather working helmet some people don't like that it does damage to you but i think 20 percent casting speed is broken in classic because we, we don't really get that so any type of speed increase it's gonna do a lot. You can also get the te uh, the the helmet, the leather helmet, which that one's good too. 
it increases your mana regen and 50 damage i'm gonna rock both of them i'm gonna start off with the male one then i'm gonna also test out and get this one and see which one i like better because 50 damage and mp5 can definitely come like it could it could be useful in the long run Yeah, I, I don't have i'm rocking leather working and engineering on my guy so the neck from nomer this is literally the best shoulders in the game i know the nomer one yeah you get a chance to hit but i'm not pving over here i want pvp shit so i'd rock this just for the stamina stamina adds up at the end of the day like a stamina for shaman eight eight stamina ain't just 80 hp for a shaman you know what i mean especially with the 30 percent bonus on stv 20 percent bonus and bgs you know everything adds up with a 30 percent bonus from way of earth so you're talking about like 60 percent fucking bonus shamans get you know it's too strong to like okay what nature damage spells when lava burst is the shit that's slopping that's why i think this is going to be the best shoulders in the game uh the cloak stv is amazing 11 damage seven stamps six in super strong super strong and the tier chest you want to get the tier you want to just try to get the tiers you know do soft res runs do whatever you can because that two second bonus on lightning bolt that point two seconds it will definitely increase your damage output being able to go ham and just like when you get fire locked if you get fire locked being able to just pop off line but i don't know chilling bah, frost, like frost out from far or you know you can literally global people from far just spamming the old reliable landing boat chain lightning like People are saying, oh, you only need lava burst, dude. I've been fucking globaling people, chain lining, lining boat, spam from far. <laughs> like I said, the bracers, these bracers are going to be bis forever. This is like the new hypnotic blade. It's from the freaking raid. So good luck because everyone and their mom's going to want this. But that's definitely the carrot on the stick for the face. Same shield. It's up there, even though I, I believe this one's a little better because of the armor. It has the same stamina and you lose what two damage yeah but I'll, I'll trade two damage for like 300 armor almost dude that's huge rings stamina is king yeah this one's awesome but meh i'd rather have six stamina because remember with everything it adds up way more than fucking three damage what's three damage three damage is nothing I'd rather have six stamina. Yeah, like I said, I already got lucky with this belt. And the gloves, these gloves are up there, man. For some reason, they're not up here. Because this, this whole 60 upgrades is like out of whack. Like, okay, Dreamweave, 18 damage. So 11 more damage, but you're losing a couple hundred HP. I don't know if that's a fair trade. If you're if you're lacking on damage and you have the gold to blow, do it. But if you want, you know, more armor, more stamina, more all that shit, turtle scale is gonna be the move all the way. Because look at this, none of this other shit gives you stamina. That's from Nomer. That that could be another good one. That's literally the only other upgrade that I would replace it with. But like I said, getting lucky in Nomer. Or compared to just a couple gold and auction house, and boom, you already got it. The spec I'm rocking. This is the spec I'm rocking right now for world PvP. These are my runes. Overload, waiver, power burst, power surge, decoy totem. These two are amazing. These two are game changing one proc of this at the right time changes the outcome of a match using this at the right time changes the outcome of a match you can definitely play around you can take off color flame put reverb a little bit so you can you know try to get your cast out a little bit faster that, that also works i rock i rock two different specs sometimes this one sometimes this one still testing out people call this a waste but when you're chasing somebody down and they're just a little bit away, you know, and you could earthbind, totemic projection, 
you don't understand those two extra yards were the reason i caught somebody and then i was able to catch up to them and kill them so it makes a you know little this is like a meta shit it's like it makes a difference in my opinion when you're world pvping on spam so that, that goes for um the gear and just a couple things um I'm going to link my Discord in the description if you guys want to chat, if you want to show me any cool shit you do, any clips, any awesome Ellie Shaman or even Enhance. I, I, I love both specs. I'm working on getting the mace next just for the memes. If you want to share any clips or just hang out and talk shit with us, the Discord link is in the description and I'm going to show you guys a bonus clip uh, followed by this video. So thanks. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Take care. Hope you guys have been good. So here I'm gonna I'm gonna let you guys watch it and then we're gonna go over and just like see the the crazy shit that happened. The, this is where I call myself RNG Jesus, right? Because this is the type of shit that can only happen if RNG. Where do you turn the logs in? I saw it earlier. Oh, is it that's out oh, maybe? Oh. Or at the islands. I'm on the warlock. I'm gonna disarm this guy. I'm gonna disarm this guy. Get the warlock. Jesus. How the? <laughs> so, as you can see, that that was fucking crazy, right? The amount of RNG that came out. So we started off. You couldn't hear my voice in the thing because there was an error when I when I got the clip because I was getting with a GeForce experience. So we're starting off. You see the boomkins behind the tree, and I'm just doing the same. I'm just here with him. Boom! Get the flame shock on him. Get, I'm just getting ready to fucking global him. I have a grounding down because I saw there was a warlock, so nobody interrupts me or I get hodged. So you, before you start casting, just have it. Get the grounding down, and you know. At least they have to go through a little barrier before they get you. And then, and see, Hatred even dropped a trap on me because he, he thought somebody was going to come to me and made the red or something. And then Lava Burst, the Druid, boom. The STV event is over, so they don't have more HP, but I still have fucking over 3k HP, you know what I mean? So when the buffs go away, at least shamans are still ridiculous. And one Lava Burst got this poor Druid to 70%. And they started the fight on us. We're just, we were just roaming, and then all I saw was a star surge hit hatred in the foot, in the head, right? Like the match started here, and then look at the star surge coming out of the sky, right? That, that's how the fight started. So they had to jump on us. We didn't even know what was happening. We didn't know nothing. They were hiding behind the tree. So as we're here, lava burst, boom! I guess spell locked, right? He spell locked me. I think it was in the lightning tree. You know nature, so. Hatred still popping off on the druid, and then I just come for the frost shot kill. Hatred ended up killing him. I see hatred at half health, and I'm already like, oh shit. As an Ellie Shaman, yeah, we could blow people the fuck up. But the beauty of this class is you can take a second back and keep your teammates up in moment of, you know, in a dire moment. Because these these situations where you decide what to do determine the outcome. You know what I mean? Like if I were just to keep up, oh, pump, 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 and hatred dies, and then all oh, they fucking you know two v one, and then it's a lot harder. So an Eddie shaman's only as good as his teammates. That's my opinion. Like only as good as how how good you can keep up your teammates, how good you can peel. When we're in world PvP and like they just jump on our priest, that's always the first target. I'm instantly decoy totem, telling him run, 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 while spam healing. And while they our hunters drop traps where they were. So boom, you got the healer out, and then everybody just turns around and globals everybody. You know what I mean? So it's is everything situational? Y using decoy totem on cooldown, you know what I mean? So keeping hatred up, we're calling out the warlock as the target. I ground the uh, incinerate, boom, flame shock. You already know what's trying to charge it up, charging up, charging up. And I got lucky with a power surge proc. And I already knew when I saw the power surge prog, I'm already like, oh, this paladin's dead. This guy's dead. He even knows. He stops chasing hatred and he turns around. I get my flame shock on him and I'm spamming my keyboard. And he, this guy already knows what's up right here. This guy's fucking dead. This guy's fucking dead. And we just 2v3'd in, in S2. I really love the, the game right now, the way, the way it is. 
Super fun for Ellie. Enhance has its situational moments. In my opinion, everybody should have both sets. As a shaman, you want to be, you know, you want to be able to do everything. Why not? Especially if they release those spike, just be ready to be, okay, I want to tank a dungeon or boom, I want to fucking go into a BG and one-shot somebody as heavy. That's the beauty of the class. Like, it, it could be good at a, at a bunch of different things.